Pedro Guatemala is a small town on the western shores of Lake Atitlan. Children play, tortillas sizzle, and it is two weeks before Semana Santa, or Holy Week. Roots run deep in this predominantly Mayan town, and there is a tangible sense of community. Moms, dads, aunts, uncles, grandma and grandpa, everybody is here, gathered to celebrate and honor their Catholic traditions. On our way to the airport, two, two and a half months in uh, Central America, and then uh, meeting Ashley for two and a half weeks in Peru at the end of the trip. This isn't just a total vacation, right? You know, this is, this is like a job application for a job that I don't even know if it exists. <laughs> you can't, you know, sit around and apply for job after job and the next thing you know, you haven't done anything because you're waiting for somebody else to do it for you. I decided to skip all that and just go out and do it. And if I get a job, a job that I would prefer out of this, you know, it's, it's all going to be worth it. To be honest, for a long time I was so excited and now I'm just kind of nothing but <laughs> worried and sad. There are good things and there are bad things about this and, you know, trying to focus on the good things. Yeah. Ashley, are there any good things that you can think of? <laughs> um, I can't talk right now. <laughs> And so haven't slept. It's now 2:30. Uh, right now I'm just gonna go uh, get something to eat. Although I'll return to Antigua later, I am here for one night only before traveling by bus and then boat across Lake Atitlan to San Pedro. These boats are the fastest way to travel between the different towns and villages that surround the lake. I arrive hungry, and the smell of grilled pork calls out to me, Come hither, Matt, come hither, eat me, and be merry. San Pedro is a contrast of beautiful views and constant construction. At first glance, there seems to be more tuk-tuks than actual people, but observations must wait, as now it's time to eat. Mateo, bienvenido en el restaurante El Rancho. Nosotros ofrecemos platos de comida. Como vemos en este plato, estamos viendo el chorizo. Y es muy delicioso. Gracias. The chorizo, rice, frijoles, and salada. A lot of Guatemalan food is fried, but this is grilled. It's really nice. I am in San Pedro for two weeks of Spanish immersion classes, and I'm staying here with a local family. I would love to say I was a dedicated and gifted Spanish student, but mainly I took naps. I'm on my way to Spanish class this morning. My Spanish is coming along nicely. It's a lot more difficult than I thought, but it's still just a great experience. Really like my teacher, like my school. Just overall, just a really great program. 
and well today I hope to to show you some of that and introduce you to my teacher and show you around the school. This is La Cooperativa, a Spanish school with great teachers and is an active part of the local community. I arrive at 8 a.m. and spend three hours every morning studying in one-on-one -on -one lessons. This is Maria, my Spanish teacher. After spending a week together, classes are fun and casual. Uh. <laughs> Yet today, Maria notices something is not quite right with my homework. It's perfect and it has no mistakes, even though mistakes are sort of my specialty. <laughs> All joking aside, the classes are excellent and Maria is a fantastic teacher. The three hour classes fly by before you know it and then it's time for lunch. Heading down to my favorite place in San Pedro, the Juice Lady, the Juice Sisters. Fantastic place, makes all kinds of shakes, fresh juices, great people that work there. Gracias. Okay. With love. <laughs> Por favor. Yes, Gracias. I'm basically gonna have lunch there. I'm just gonna get a really hearty shake. It's gonna be really nice. Good place to go in town. Highly recommended. Spanish school is more than just studying Spanish. It's about meeting new friends from around the world. This is Midori from Canada, Nicole from Australia, and Tessa from the Netherlands. So where are we going? To the Miradore. Mira, Miradore? Mira, I don't know. No sé. No sé. <laughs> okay, we need a more knowledgeable guide. <laughs> um, <laughs> we took day trips together, hung out in local cafes, and enjoyed some street food. And to my surprise, I was able to share a little bit of my home country with them in the form of some good old-fashioned American barbecue. We are uh, on our way to Joe's Barbecue. A Texan has a barbecue place here. Does it every Sunday. Is this with pork? No, vegetarian. Okay. Chicken. Ribs, brisket, mac and cheese, potatoes, green beans, corn with a lot of butter. This is gonna be good. Brisket, little brisket. Mm. And of course, your Spanish school isn't really a Spanish school unless it offers salsa lessons. Dancing is not my thing. But everyone was having such a great time that really I had no choice but to give it a try. And I gotta admit, it was pretty fun. of salsa dancing will ever physically prepare you for hiking a volcano. Yeah. It's 6.20 in the morning. I woke up, I don't know, when did I wake up? 5.58. We were supposed to leave at 6. I woke up at 5.58. I'm freaking exhausted. But the goal is hike at least one volcano on this trip. Okay, so we are gonna hike up La Volcan, what, de San Pedro today. I'm here with a few other brave students, such as Caitlin from Scotland. And we're all ready. Last in line, hiking.
Hiking is not really my thing, but looking forward to this. I think, I don't know. I don't know if we're halfway up or 25% way up, three quarters up, no idea. But it's not getting any easier. The air is getting thinner, difficult to breathe. So your muscles aren't getting as much oxygen and it just, you get real tired real quick. That's incredibly steep. We were at the beginning and we came up to a rest stop and the guide said that was the easiest part and I found it impossible. We just passed the 2,000 meter milestone and well I'm worn out it's getting everything's becoming quite the workout we came to a rest stop where the younger students wanted to remind me that I was both old and overweight <laughs> yeah wow yeah I look pregnant Thank you, Caitlin, from Scotland. We're at a lookout. 2,194 meters, 900 more meters to go. I'm leaving San Pedro soon, but I am reminded why I started this journey. It was to tell a story. Hopefully one day I'll get a job telling stories, whether they're mine or someone else's. Keep my eye on the goal. gonna give it to you. Here I go, the final ascent. You know, when you have no experience whatsoever, sometimes you just gotta go out and get that experience yourself. Will it all be worth it? Wow. It's all gonna be worth it. Most of the time, change is painful and this is no different. I just have to just keep reminding myself that. There's one more thing I need to do before leaving. It's something I should have done the first time I was in San Marcos. Jumped off this big ledge into the water, into the lake. I'm gonna do it too. Uh, am I too old? Most likely. Will I hurt myself? I mean, I hurt myself walking up the stairs, so yeah, I'll probably hurt myself on this too. But if you're serious about change, then there's only one thing you can do. Jump. Please check out mattbiggers.com for all my blog posts and you can even download wallpaper for your computer or phone. I'm gonna miss me though, you're just gonna miss me.
this spider killing. 